side for life. Let it light up the flame, your boss can't put a What's going on people? It's Shim. And as I told you before, it's gonna be a lot of changes coming to the channel. I was gonna share a little bit more with you all as far as what I do, as far as my spare time, I guess, or other interests that I have and everything like that. And one of these things is I like doing sound systems for vehicles, things of that nature. So I have an Equinox that I want to actually work on a little bit. And what I did was I made a sweet box with here. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a sample of what it sounds like as well. And if anything else, you have any questions as far as what I did, just ask a question and I'll get to you as fast as possible. But the project was completely done in 3D printing as far as the box is concerned. This is actually the largest 3D printing project I've done personally for myself here. I've done other small things for around the house, like shelves, things of this nature, but nothing to this size. So this is the first time that I made a project this size here. Now the whole process took 12 hours to print. Now when I say 12 hours to do the print, I originally thought 12 hours was going to take a lot longer than what it did, or it's going to feel a lot different. Seeing as that this project was able to be done while I was pretty much almost doing anything, the 12 hours went by really, really fast on here. And because I did it in pieces and just put it together as one piece, it didn't make the 12 hours seem as much. I was able to just, it just made it seem like it was a lot faster than 12 hours. So since the project can be done in less than a day for the most part, except for the painting part, it really gave me a really good feeling that I want to do more larger projects with my 3D printer here. So yeah, after that, I did actually do like a fast paint job on it. Don't, it was nothing I, I really cared about. And the, and the main reason why I didn't care about the paint job on it was that where the box was going to be located. I did put a little felt fabric on the top where the speakers are at. But that's about it. Kind of, I wanted to see if it would blend in more, but now that I looked at the colors of it, they didn't blend in as much as I thought it would. Even if I open a trunk temporarily, just to put some in there, again, no one's really gonna see it there. It's, it's pretty, it's not stealthy, but it's semi-stealthy. I'm gonna call it semi-stealthy. Now the speakers that I'm using are just really the Crunch 4x6s. I think they're like CS. 4x6 or something like that. I don't know, they're 4x6. I didn't want to do 6x9s because I wanted the back seats to go far, as far back as they would. I think I only paid like $18 for these speakers off of Amazon. So the speakers were cheap. Like the whole project didn't cost very much money. And I originally designed it to be the whole width that I could, that I wanted to. I'm going from wall to wall. But if you notice in this picture here, you'll see where these two little nubs or whatever you want to call it stop me from being able to do that so underneath the box there is a three inch width of a gap as far as height and two inches wide so the only thing i have underneath there is the line converter as well as a mini amp and i said now again it's supposed to be semi stealthy and like that and i went on my trunk speed. now the main reason why i went with 3d printing over wood was because of the cost and because of the time. Those are the main two factors I want. With 3D printing, also, I could get a better design of a box. And again, time was a major factor. With the filament, I can work on it and get the box and work on the box. While I'm working, I do a full-time job. So being able to work on this while actually working was great. Didn't take up much of my attention. Once I have it start printing, all I do is just check on it every once in a while. That's about it. I don't have to do anything else. Working on wood, nothing's gonna get done unless I do it. And that was another major factor for me doing the actual 3D printing of it. And now I'm gonna do a little sound sample for you all. Uh, let you know what it sounds like. If there's any suggestions or anything you think I should have done or maybe wanna try out next time. So here you go. Shin, I'm out. Go.